Glock 40 Spaz is one of the most promising artists coming out of Atlanta right now. He became an underground icon after dissing Playboy Cardi and somehow rejecting an offer to signing to his label Opium. However, that obviously didn't work out because he's currently in jail for one of the craziest crimes I could imagine a musician doing honestly. If they gave out medals for crashing out, this dude would straight be a world record holder, Guinness World Record Book type shit. That's probably why few details have really come out about the incident that got him locked up. Until now, man. We gotta talk about the incident that got Glock 40 Spaz locked up, his future, and whether or not he will even be free to see his career grow. Because honestly, after what he did, I would be surprised and I am currently surprised that he even still has fans and people that support him. Man, we're gonna tap into this situation right now, but before we do, I'm gonna need you to like, comment, subscribe. You already know, man. We at like 8,700 subs. We're on the road to 10K, so help us grow, man. Join Stay Safe Gang, join the notification gang, and tap in with the merch. Link in the description at staysafeworld.com. Man, let's get into this right now. Glock 40 Spaz's popularity has basically skyrocketed over the past couple years and obviously being an underground figure has gotten him diehard fans. Unfortunately for two fans that were looking to meet up with the rapper, they got the full SoundCloud rap experience and apparently got robbed at gunpoint at a gas station during a random Instagram meetup that Glock 40 Spaz posted on his story, they responded and then they all met up. If you think I'm capping too, man, check out the police report that an officer Officer made describing the incident man it's honestly crazy June 29 2022 officer responded to a robbery that had just occurred at around 1400 that's 2 p.m. military time man I met with the victims victim number one and victim number two at the quick trip located at 2900 Buford Drive victim one and victim two said the robbery had occurred at 2914 Buford Drive aka cube smart Victim 2 said he and Victim 1 follow a local rapper, the name Alexander Gabriel Cadeza, also known as Glock 40 Spaz, man, and on Instagram, who goes by the name Glock 40 Spaz. Victim 2 said he saw a post from Glock 40 Spaz asking who is in the Gwinnett area wanting to get together. Victim 2 said he responded to the story stating that he was in the area and then Glock 40 Spaz provided the address to the quick trip. Victim 2 said Victim 1 drove them to the address. Victim 2 said Glock 40 Spaz called his phone through Snapchat and told Victim 2 to meet up at the Cube Smart which is next door. Victim 1 said as they pulled up to Cube Smart, Glock 40 Spaz and another unknown suspect were sitting on the curb near the first entrance. Victim 1 said he turned his car around and the two suspects entered the rear passenger seats. Victim 2 said Glock 40 Spaz was sitting behind Victim 1 and the unknown suspect was behind Victim 2. Victim 2 said Glock 40 Spaz then pointed a gun at his head and the unknown suspect pointed a gun at Victim 1 within his right side rib cage. Victim 2 said Glock 40 Spaz then said to him, don't play with me, give me all your money, give me all you got, don't play with me, I will shoot. Bro, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Imagine a meet and greet where you go and meet with your favorite rapper and you're getting robbed. Like, I've even seen crazy stories in Atlanta of like rappers basically robbing cameramen and stuff like that. But at least they have something to offer, bro. You're just robbing a whole fan? Honestly, that is crazy, man. I can't even believe that. Glock 40 Spaz grabbed his Pokemon bag with contents inside. Victim 1 said Glock 40 Spaz tried to take his wallet but was only able to take around $200 in cash. Victim 2 and Victim 1 said they wanted to meet Glock 40 Spaz due to his popularity on social media and thought it would be cool and admitted they were going to smoke marijuana with the suspects and just hang out. But bro just robbed his whole fans, man. What? This is what he's in jail for. And apparently, Victim 2 went on to show the Instagram page and saw Glock 40 Spaz has changed his screen name to Redacted since the incident. Victim 2 was able to screenshot the new name and also a photo of the suspect from a YouTube channel. I provided a link to the evidence.com and Victim 2 upload utilizing the case number. I checked the QSmart security footage. The incident was not seen on camera. Sergeant Landris, during some investigation, had concluded that the suspect may be Alex Cordanza, although it is not confirmed at this time. Apparently, this is what essentially went down.
Honestly, that's probably a fan's worst nightmare, getting a whole GTA situation coming from their favorite rapper. Bro, the people sounded like little kids, man. Bro had a Pokemon bag and basically got robbed for it. I, I understand them talking about robbing the ops, but they're robbing their own fans, bro. I mean, that's not really something that's too surprising when you look at the internet. I mean, I see rappers all the time, like people like September's Rich going around talking about scams and like if you got PayPal, Chime, all those cash app things and then they just rob people's money, man. It's kind of the same thing, but at least there you're not attempting to rob someone with a gun. And apparently he was on house arrest, had some type of ankle monitor probation thing going on. Definitely shouldn't be around any firearms. I I, I would guess that people are saying apparently that he's going to get like 9 to 10 years for this. So honestly, man, I would not sit around and wait for you know this guy to fucking like come out of jail because he's basically crashed out to the point where you know his music is super fire but you know robbing your fans is definitely not the way to go man if they need to put that in a song just so there's like a cautionary tale in there just so people know that he might just go crazy and rob someone at a show or something like that you know but that probably just glorifies his whole legend in the underground and people are gonna see that but at the end of the day man bro should have taken that opium deal if he's gonna be out here robbing his fans it's hard as an independent musician and the crazy thing is after he's went to jail damn near a year later he pretty much blown up he's getting interviews by our generation music and stuff like that but at the end of the day man people need to realize that these are just humans too and a lot of these artists are down bad apparently he signed a deal too so obviously the deal didn't work out if he has to go around robbing people but you know hopefully his whole label situation is fixed up you know he's probably not going to be out for any time in the immediate future or you know next couple years probably going to be damn near a decade till we see some more shit from him but at the end of the day man do you feel like it was worth it or do you feel like he's gonna die out while he's in jail not personally but do you think his music can last until then it seems like he has a lot of stuff in the vault and it seems like he has a lot of clouds sort of coming his way right now but at this time man all we can do is wait and see man let me know what y'all think in the comments real stay safe shit you already know what's going on make sure you like comment subscribe man and make sure you join notifications